Welcome to the Graphing Data Webcast, where we will look at how to create and edit various graphs in Minitab. For this webcast, we will use the sample data set called Shipping Data. To open the sample data sets, choose File, Open Worksheet, click this button, and in the Getting Started folder, we will select Shipping Data. This particular data set contains delivery data for three different shipping centers. For example, the shipment here in row one was shipped from the Eastern Center, took a little more than four days to arrive, and was shipped a distance of 255 miles. Now that we've imported our data, let's look at how to create a few graphs. Most graphs in Minitab are located in the Graph menu although there are also graphs that are located in the Stat menu and the Assistant menu. Suppose we first want to create a histogram to look at the distribution of shipping times for each center. To create a histogram, choose Graph, Histogram, select With Fit to include a normal curve, and then here in the dialog, we will enter the Days column. Now, if we wanted one histogram for all centers, we could click OK. However, we want separate histograms for each center, so we will select multiple graphs, by variables, and then here under the Panels option, we will enter Center. To make it easier to compare the data for the three centers, let's stack the histograms by right-clicking and choosing Panel. If we then choose Arrangement, we can tell Minitab that we want to arrange the histograms into three rows by one column. Now that we've stacked the histograms, let's look at how to edit text and colors. For example, to change the title, just double-click to change the text. And if you also want to change the bar color, just double-click on any bar. Let's create a few more graphs so we can then look at how to put multiple graphs on one page. For example, suppose we next want to look at the individual distances for each center. To graph each value, choose Graph, Individual Value Plot, and in this case we have one Y variable, namely distance, and we have different groups designated by our center column. So we will choose one Y with groups, and our distance for the graph variables and center for the grouping variable. For our final graph, let's create a scatter plot with regression and groups to see if there's a relationship between the shipping days and the shipping distance for each center. We will enter days for the Y variable distance for x, and center for the grouping variable. Now that we've created our graphs, suppose we want to place all of the graphs on one page. To do so, select any graph and choose Editor, Layout Tool. On the left, you will see a list of your graphs and a preview window below. You can then use the arrows to place graphs within the layout, and you can click and drag to move your graphs around. Once you've selected all of your graphs, click Finish. Now that we've created the layout, we can edit it just like we did with the histograms. For example, we can right-click to add a title,
And if we also want to resize the graphs, we can click and drag. If you then need to print a graph or save it, for example, as a JPEG, you can use the File menu where you will see options like Save Graph and Print Graph. In the File menu, you will also notice Save Project, which you can use to save all of your graphs, data, and analysis in one easy to access file. This concludes the webcast on how to graph your data using Minitab. To learn more about how to create graphs in Minitab, we offer e-learning with Quality Trainer as well as instructor-led training. For more information or to download a free 30-day trial of Minitab, visit minitab.com.